Thank you, Elder Commanda, for always starting us off in the right way. I'm joining all of you from Marlu, Ontario, on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabeg, Haudenosaunee, and Neutral Peoples. I want to start off today by thanking all of you for participating in today's important conversation here at the National Summit on Anti-Semitism. I also want to thank my cabinet and caucus colleagues for joining us here today. And of course, the Honorable Erwin Kotler, Canada Special Envoy on preserving Holocaust remembrance and combating anti-Semitism for convening today's summit. This summit will be an opportunity for community members to speak directly with decision makers, including in a closed door environment to ensure the safety of those participating. We are here to speak about how we can combat the anti-Semitism that plagues our neighborhoods and our communities. I know that our conversations today will be productive and powerful in reaffirming our commitment to building a consciously more inclusive Canada. Through these conversations, we'll be able to turn more ideas into actions that we can take in the short term to stop these attacks and incidents and to ensure better safety. And in the long term, what we can do to make sure we're building a country that not only says we're diverse, but actually has policies that reflect that. By being here today, we are saying that we believe in the opportunity to build a better Canada, a better world. We believe that we have an open, welcoming, and truly inclusive society if we are willing to strive for it. The work you carry out in your communities, the, the measures you have undertaken to denounce and fight anti Semitism, hate, and violence against uh, color and religion, that's an example for all of us. You should know that the government of Canada is on your side and that we are fully committed to fighting anti-Semitism and all forms of racism and discrimination in Canada. We build on the progress that we have made together and set a course for further action. During the cross-country consultations to inform the development of Canada's anti-racism strategy, we heard and acted on your calls for the adoption of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance definition of anti-Semitism. We understand that words matter. When it comes to promoting inclusion and combating discrimination, the era definition of anti-Semitism enables us to have a common understanding of what anti-Semitism is and how it manifests itself. This in turn enables the development of measures and policies to fight it. Canada has been proud, a proud member of the ERA since 2009 and acted as its chair from February 2013 to March 2014. Our membership in ERA provides Canada with the opportunity to work internationally with government officials and experts to combat anti Semitism. In November 2020, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau named the Honourable Erwin Kotler as Canada's Special Envoy on Preserving Holocaust Remembrance and Combating Anti-Semitism. Strengthening of Canada's implementation of the era definition of anti-Semitism is a core component of his mandate. Further, the Federal Anti-Racism Secretariat uses the definition of anti-Semitism in its engagements with Jewish communities and its work to tackle anti-Semitism. We also support 95 projects worth $15 million in the framework of action against uh, racism. 21 of these projects are aimed specifically to hate online, where we know anti-Semitic messages continue to be broadcast. The Canada Task Force on Online Anti-Semitism a project by the Montreal Institute for Genocide Studies at Concordia University, which will produce recommendations to help major social media and tech companies make changes to their policies and develop new tech solutions to combat anti-Semitism, Holocaust denial, and take and fake news online. Another example is a project from the Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs called United Against Online Hate, which will develop a national coalition with targeted communities to actively combat online hate following recommendations from the study conducted by the House of Commons Standing Committee on Justice and Human Rights. 
We also know that online platforms such as Twitter, YouTube have become elements that are more and more significant in terms of participation in our democracy in public life. Many positive benefits of the internet and connective technologies, we must also acknowledge the negative impact of online hate and abuse on individuals and communities at home and around the world. Let us be clear, nothing can justify the spread of hate speech online or in any form it is unacceptable and it must be stopped this so must is uh, meant to build a better Canada by working together the Jewish communities and to take back these insights to create concrete and effective actions to fight anti-semitism wherever it occurs in Canada but their engagement book. Our commitment, based on your experience and your will to openly share, and this is very important for our success. Yes, today, for your participation and for your commitment to building a better, safer, and consciously more inclusive Canada, 